Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with another money making method. Now today's method is extremely click intensive, uh, but it can get you about 1 mil an hour GP and 50k an hour magic experience. So what we're going to be doing today is humidifying clay. Now it's very easy to do this, however to get the most efficient amount of clays done per hour you really have to set up everything properly. So the buying limit on clay is about 13k, so to begin with here if you want to do this for a full hour you will need to uh, wait about four or five hours to buy all the ingredients just because uh, it's only half the buying limit. This will only take around half an hour assuming I'm playing efficiently. So the requirements for this method are going to be about three to four mil to buy all of the clay. You will need to have completed the Lunar Diplomacy quest because we are going to be using the Lunar Spellbook. And also you will need to have completed the Dream Mentor quest to unlock the Humidify spell. Speaking of which, the Humidify spell will require level 68 magic to cast. And I would also recommend a Steam Staff or a Steam Battle Staff. Now this method is not always profitable, it really depends on the prices for clay. Currently the margin on clay right now is 50 GP. If it's around 50 GP you're looking at about 1 mil an hour hopefully. Anything less than that and I might not even bother with this method just because it is very click intensive. So before we humidify the clay it's worth 5,465. After we humidify it it's worth 6,993, so about 1,500 GP in profit per cast. Alright, so now I'm going to go show you how to set up your bank and how to get the most efficient amount of cast per hour. Alright, so I'm only getting 30k an hour doing it uh, the newbie way without any bank fillers and whatnot, so let's go set up my bank correctly. So first off, you want to withdraw all your astral runes and remove any placeholders for those items, because what we want to do is fill up the bank with bank fillers. What this will do is prevent us from depositing our astral runes, because there's no space in the tab, so if we hit the deposit inventory button, it will not let us deposit it. On top of it, we want to also move our clay towards where the deposit inventory button is. You can see uh, there's not enough space to deposit the Astro Runes currently, so that's perfect. And we want the clay right beside the deposit inventory button. So essentially, all you have to do is come over here, cast Humidify. You have to wait a few ticks before you can hit the bank button. Then you want to hit your deposit inventory button, withdraw more clay, and then you want to hit the exit key on your keyboard. You might have to set that up in the F keys in your RuneScape settings, but it's definitely worth it because moving your mouse any more than you have to is really going to take away your experience per hour. And then it's kind of just as simple as getting faster and faster. Just keep working on getting the ticks proper, making sure your clicks are good. If you want it, you can even add uh, little screen markers in there, but I don't think it's super necessary. Okay, so here's my best attempt at doing it at full speed. Uh, I'm going to track my experience to see if I can get close to the top experience rate, which is about 52k an hour, but the max you can do, assuming you don't mess up your ticks. Now, that's not going to be extremely likely because this is very click intensive and doing this for an hour straight without messing up clicks is going to be very rare and really just that's a lot of work. So we have uh, Rune Light tracking our XP here. I really like the Rune Light tracker because it starts at zero and works its way up where the OS Buddy one would start at like a mil XP per hour and work its way down pretty much. It gives you a much better reading if you're douche doing this for a short period of time. I'm not an amazing skiller by any means so do not judge me too hard. But it's pretty much as simple as that. So assuming we can do about 20,000 casts an hour, we're going to make hopefully about 1 mil off of the soft clay method. All right, so we're getting up to 49k, 50k an hour. That's pretty much where it tops out. Um, you can hopefully get done about 800 casts an hour if you're doing it correctly. But I probably would shoot for like 600 or 700 just because of how click intensive this is. Considering you're getting magic experience and 50k an hour is not terrible and a mil an hour GP currently, that's a very good method to do. Obviously, you have to look at the price as always, but always worth keeping it in the back of your mind. All right, so we're done humidifying all of the clay. Uh, all 12K took just about 35 minutes uh, doing it at about the max efficiency I could. I was pretty proud of it. So we went and checked the price of soft clay. And it's about 245, so that's a 45 GP profit uh, per clay. So let's go sell it. It should insta sell perfect. Uh, so we sold it for 2940K and we bought it for 2388 which leaves us with 552k profit, although we also did have to pay for the Astral Runes. We didn't quite use all 400, but uh, we'll just say it. So in about half an hour, we made about 492k. This would be a little bit higher if you were playing at the maximum efficiency possible. But currently, this method will net you about 900k to 1 mil an hour playing at max efficiency, and about 45k to 50k magic experience as possible as well, which, if you start at level 68, is actually still pretty good XP per hour. And the fact that you're making a mill off it is extremely good as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, don't forget to leave the video a like. I always appreciate it. And I will see you next time.